Hey guys, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning. Tonight, we're going to chat about the new Toro et Moi album, Outer Peace. Toro et Moi, aka Mr. Chaz Bundick, aka Chaz Bear. I'm pretty sure that's a thing that's happening these days. Electronic producer, artist, singer, songwriter. He's done a lot over the years. I initially kind of got into Chaz around the time that Chill Wave was a thing because, let's not forget guys, it was a thing. Around this time, Chaz was working with some very dreamy beats, cloudy atmospheres, and bringing a lot of personality to the table as well with albums like Causes of This. And he really took off with albums like Underneath the Pine and Anything in Return. But around that time, I sort of got less interested in Chaz's work. I felt like Chaz's vocals really did, at the end of the day, bring things together nicely. But I felt like a lot of his contemporaries were just bringing a lot more personality to the table. The grooves in Chaz's performances were always very breezy, very likable. But I never saw myself around this time coming back for seconds. As the years went on, though, I sort of got more interested in Chaz's work and I actually came back to really enjoy some of his works as he started exploring more hip-hop production on Less Sins and he drifted off into indie pop on Watch 4 and then checked out some alternative R&B on Boo Boo which ended up being one of my favorite records of 2016. Now Chaz is an artist that you never really know what he's going to do especially because ever since that Boo Boo project he's you know produced for guys like Travis Scott and other hip-hop artists as well and from the sound of these new singles that he's been dropping from this new album, Outer Peace, it's pretty obvious that Chaz is back to his funkier side. This album starts off with Fading, and call me crazy, but I think this is a really awesome intro, one of the better ones I've heard in a while. I love just how hard this beat goes, and it just, it is a real banging beat. And the echoed vocals throughout give this almost like a chill wave feel, almost like some of his early stuff, but with much glossier and much more modern production. In the past, some of his more dance stuff has been very generic for me, but I'll take this track over anything on anything in return. No, at the very least, this actually has a ton of personality, and when it pops, it pops hard. Not to mention, Chaz actually works with a really couple of really great elements on here. It sort of ends up coming like a throwback, but it's also super futuristic as well. It's a great opener. As a matter of fact, a lot of the more upbeat, more groove-heavy tracks here, like Who Am I, do a lot for me, which is something I wasn't really expecting. This track is upbeat, and it's groovy, and it's just so busy. This is really what I used to love about genres like this. Now, lyrically, this is absolutely bottom of the barrel, but at least Chaz here sounds like he's having a blast singing and performing it. It's almost goofy at times, but that ends up making it come off even more likable and more fun. And this throwback beat, once again, is really classy. These continue to be some of the funkiest tracks that Chaz has put out in years, especially on tracks like Laws of the Universe. I love some of Chaz's cultural references on this one. I mean, who else is referencing Prometheus and Bob these days? For me, here, this seems like just the right amount of personality for Chaz. Like, this is perfect. And once again, we get these really great throwback synths that work perfect. Now, I feel like the LCD sound system and James Murphy references are kind of hit and miss, and you might like them. I'm kind of into them, but it's kind of going to be varied on the listener for those. But for me, they're punchy enough, and they just give this track just a little bit enough of attitude. But as this album goes on, we get tracks that are just, they seem incomplete, and while Chaz starts off some of them really well, they just don't end nearly as consistent. We have tracks like the finale here, 50-50, which comes off like this kind of slow motion throwback. Once again, something he goes for a lot on here. But to be honest, some of the other tracks on here that go for this same kind of vibe just do so much better with this. I like the glistening beat and all, and the production is fine, but at the end of the day, this track just ends up coming off super repetitive, and I can't engage with it at all. These are all elements that I kind of saw coming from a mile away when I started hearing some of the singles on here. Take, for example, Ordinary Pleasure. It's a pretty straightforward and groovy tune that really sort of pulls from his dance days and electronic days. But here, I sort of feel like the same way I did about his tracks back then. Like, it's great, and sure, when it's on, I'm moving around and all, but nothing about this tells me this is a Toro y Moi track. There's no personality whatsoever. And New House may be the worst track that Chaz has ever written. Like, this track is absolutely laughable. If this is Chaz trying to make, like, some socio-political statement, this is not the way he should be doing it at all, and it backfires horribly. His vocals are obnoxious, his lyrics are even more obnoxious. To be honest, I'd rather see him doing faceless dance music compared to this. 
new house just flies by completely doing nothing except putting me to sleep if you want to count that. And it's sad because this track relies so heavily on dreary atmospheres and auto-tuned vocals. These are things that he did so well with on Boo Boo and his work in the past. Baby Drive It Down starts a little more promising with this sort of tropical beat that I actually don't mind. But once again, I feel like this track is just 100% atmosphere and no personality in sight. Don't get me wrong, the very cloudy, murky beat is so warm and likable. I love it, actually. But I heard people, like, talking about Boo Boo, how it was like a lyrical wasteland, and how it has really fell off with that album. But if that was a wasteland, this is even worse. Freelance, for me, is just as confusing. Another track that was used as a promotional single for this album. Once again, the beat here goes super hard. Like when Chaz really goes for it, these beats are fantastic. And obviously the funk is here. I can't help but groove to this. But once again, I feel like the vocal effects here, which yeah, he's worked with in the past, they just don't pan out the same way that they used to for Chaz. And like, yeah, this is fun in the moment, but nothing about this track is gonna make me come back and listen to it again. The synths are great, production's fine, but like, what am I missing here? What's going on? I hate to say it, but some of the most compelling tunes here are some of the ones that Chaz has brought on guest singers for. Take, for example, Miss Me featuring Abra, which instantly brings back those silky smooth grooves that I heard on Boo Boo and loved so much. Chaz takes the back seat here, Abra takes vocals completely, and honestly, it becomes this really delicate and sweet ballad instantly. And honestly, Abra brings the personality hard and Chaz focuses on atmosphere and they end up having great chemistry together. I love this track a lot. Even weirder, I don't even find myself missing Chaz here, which is terrible, but really interesting. Even later tracks like Monte Carlo featuring Wet come off really fantastic. In a crazy twist, this track sounds like it should have been on his last album, Boo Boo, and it sounds great. It's moody, it's dreary, it's emotional. Chaz is really pushing himself here, and that's really where we want to hear him. And easily, this is the best performance that I've heard from Wet in ages. Like, this beats anything on that last Wet album from last year by far. So overall, I'm kind of torn on this album. I really want to like it just because when this album is on, it is on. Chaz sounds as adventurous as ever, and he's blending his sounds that he's worked with over the years like he hasn't ever. Some of the vocal guests are really great, some of the beats are fantastic, and the production is really great too. But I honestly feel like the biggest problem with this album is that Chaz just tries too much. I feel like he goes for a lot of different elements instead of just focusing on one, and he could have made a much better album by doing that. But like I said, the tracks that are here that are good are easily some of Chaz's best in years. Like, really unbelievable tunes. Wrapping this review up, I'm feeling a very strong six to the lightest of light sevens. Tell me what you thought of this new Toro and Moi album in the comments below. And if you liked it, be sure to like and subscribe and let me know what you want me to chat about in the future. Until then, this is What's Spinning. Have a good day, guys.